racing the player Sebring, we've got the LMP2 car, we're gonna start racing and let's load up. Hello, welcome back guys, new video. I told you I was going to talk to you about my gaming room. It was a bit of a fight with my wife, I'm gonna be honest, because that is, just come in guys, come with me. So that initially is a dressing room, right? That was, I mean, I use it as a dressing room for my race suit. That was the first one I raced in 2000. Some of you may not have been born. I don't fit in it anymore. I try to get in, I can't. And then I've got one race suit per season of racing. So junior categories, then obviously I went with Renault, Renault Driver Development. That must be 2006, seven, eight. Oh, you know what? That one is not the wrong place. That is end of 2007. I was in GP2 with Bawa in 2009, and that went, that's when I got the phone call to go to Formula One and replacing Nelson Piquet. So 2009, we've got two race suits, but for the good reason, because I made it Formula One. Look at that. That's a trophy. That's the race of champion 2012. I was quarter final, I beat Michael Schumacher. Semi final, I beat Sebastian Vettel. Final, I beat Tom Christensen. Oh man, I didn't even clean it from the champagne. There we go, Romain Grosjean. Sebastian Auger was 2011. And then Lucas does name Schumacher Vettel, Schumacher Vettel, Schumacher Vettel. Amazing names, and that's one of the trophies that I love keeping home. Well, then after Formula One in 2009, I went back to GP2, so that's 2011. As you can see, we change color, we go with Lotus. That's when I made it back to Formula One in 2011. That's actually the race suit I only wore for two free practice, three podiums in 2012, six podiums in 2013. That's a uh, replica trophy for my first podium in Bahrain in 2012 offered by the Bahrain Grand Prix. I need to clean it a little bit, but it's a good souvenir. New change of color, the American team has 2016. I joined the team, uh, actually raced ice racing on, with that one. So that was added for the ice racing that I won in Alpe d'Huez. And there must be two from 2020, because 2021, I was my first season in IndyCar with Dale Grand Racing. Um, absolutely loved it and after that we are 2022 my first Indy 500 race suit with the pride livery that we wore at the 500 but I kept that one my first Indy 500 was pretty special really happy to have that one home another trophy I kept here it's the Monaco Grand Prix I never won it in Formula One but I kind of won the Monaco Grand Prix in GP2 so there it is I kept that trophy through my career I've been lucky to travel around the world as Mexico uh, Gignac and he gave me his jersey. Oh, that was an auction. Uh, Japanese football team, rugby, Toulon, French rugby, the games again, Argentina in 2012. So I've kept some really cool souvenirs through my career. Now welcome on the other side of the room where I've got my flight simulator. Some of you may know, some of you may not. I'm learning how to fly planes. I wanted to practice, so I bought that joystick just to practice flying. I even have got the pedals here that you can do the brakes and the rudder uh, for everyone that flies. You know, it moves that direction and even that direction. So you get a really good feel of flying. I use uh, Sauron, so I get the full big screen for flying. Luckily with the eSports team, we've got Predator as a partner. So I've got a really good Orion 5000 with a GeForce RTX 3080 in. Um, so I can run pretty much all the game full on. And now we go to the big one. And i tell you one thing, traveling that from Switzerland to the US was not easy. It is very heavy. And why is it heavy? Because it's strong. We've got a very, very powerful motor here for the force feedback. Um, so you've got a lot of force feedback going into the, the rig and the rig needs to be strong. Same thing with the pedals. They're full metal pedals and the brake, if you really want to brake hard, you have to jump on the brakes. Throttle and clutch are much easier, but the brakes is so stiff that the platform has to be very, very strong. Same thing, I've got a dedicated Orion 5000 just for the computer, for the simulator here. I only use it for that. I also have my first Porsche. There you go. I'm actually doing the Lamborghini right now and I've got a Ferrari in the cupboard here. And if we come around, it, that's where it gets tricky. So here I've got uh, my simulator. Uh, as I mentioned, we've got VRS motor feedback, VRS pedals. It's a Simlab chassis. So it's a real racing car chassis seat that I have here. And I've got a steering wheel that looks like Formula One. I've got the lights for the shift. I've got the pit limiter. I've got the flash. I've got the headlights. Here we've got the windscreen wiper. I can change my fuel consumption. I can change the menu. I can change my brake balance here. I can change my engine map here. At the back, I've got clutch paddle, downshift on this side, 
here and then on the other side we've got the upshift paddle and the same thing another clutch I can actually change my clutch bite point right here more menus here I've got a radio got a headset here with a microphone so I can talk to my teammates when we do endurance racing I've got a stream deck so for whenever I stream I get easy access to all I want to have gloves why do you have gloves? Because the steering wheel is pretty heavy. I like to put a lot of force feedback so not to have blister. But I guess that's enough talking and now we should just go and have a lap together. Here we are in the sim. I'm actually gonna put my gloves right now. We're gonna do some laps with the prototype that I like driving. Uh, we're gonna go to Sebring, which is uh, a secret only three hours drive from where I live. Single player Sebring, we've got the LMP2 car. We're gonna start racing and let's load up. That red light, we need to wait for the pit to open. Let's go. Well, that's it for this video, guys. No, I'm gonna kick you out and keep playing. Bye bye.